reopening in the ASEAN region is the biggest driver. ASEAN economies are projected to rise by at least 4.4% in the coming year 2023. This is despite the headwinds due to the slowing external demand. But higher tourism arrival in Singapore will boost the service sector. Also, consumption spending in retail, F&B, hotels and our airline industry should provide some offset against slowing export growth. We also expect the strong Sing dollar to continue. The MES exchange rate policy means the Sing dollar will stay strong in the near term given the higher inflationary environment. This suggests that the Sing dollar will remain a relative outperformer as a hedge against any FX depreciation. And this in turn may attract foreign inflows and provide support to our domestic equity market. Finally, the Singapore equity market is always known for its high level of corporate governance and transparency. The quality and defensiveness of Singapore blue chips is likely to stand out against tough economic conditions in the months ahead. For Thai equity market in the next couple of years can be driven from uh, three themes or three factors, uh, which are uh, tourism, EV, and, and renewable energy, and the valuation itself. The first one is tourism. Right now, the foreign uh, tourists come back after the pandemic. This will be the key and the main driver for Thai economies in the next couple of years and many years ahead. Not at that, 12% of our GDP are from tourist sector. Then you can see that how much it impact to our economies. The second one is the EV and renewable energies. BYD, one of the large EV producers, use Thailand as the center of production to produce and export EV car to Asia and also in EU. This will lead to the growth of other supply chains in her. Lastly, the valuation itself, they are not cheap, they are not expensive, but they are listened from the growth of many sectors that are now improving overall. Within the next few years, we see some interesting opportunities in Malaysia, some of which are unique to Malaysia. Malaysia is the largest exporter of medical gloves in the world. While the industry is currently going through supply demand imbalances, we expect that over the next few years, the imbalances could work itself out and there will be opportunities uh, subsequently. Secondly, Malaysia is a key player in the global semiconductor supply chain. Trade diversion will only serve to strengthen the position of Malaysia in the supply chain. And within ASEAN, Malaysia has the biggest representation in terms of investment opportunities to the global semiconductor supply chain. And finally, Malaysia offers investors opportunity to participate in any upturn in commodities. Malaysia is one of the few countries that is a beneficiary of higher oil and gas prices. Additionally, Malaysia is the second largest producer of palm oil in the world after Indonesia.